it's Jackie, and for today's tutorial I have some mermaid hairstyles perfect for summer. All of these looks are inspired by the Netflix show Mako Mermaids. If you guys haven't seen it, it's about a group of mermaids and a very handsome merman, and the girls have the best hairstyles. There is so much hair inspiration I take from the show, so if you like this video and you want another Mako Mermaids hairstyle video, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like my hairstyle videos, and let's get started. <laughs> This first hairstyle is inspired by Serena's Updo. I'm starting with air dried hair and I'm just brushing through to get rid of tangles. I'm adding a shine spray by OGX. This one is my favorite and it really looks like a mermaid like product so I love it. And then I'm just brushing through one more time. Of course I got some rings inspired by the girls moon rings and this first step to getting this hairstyle is to section off two front pieces of hair from around your face. Brush the remaining hair backwards and divide this section into two. Bring one section over to the front and let's start braiding. Pick up a section, divide this into three, and we are going to French braid, but only add in sections of hair from the bottom section. So it's really a lace braid when you're only bringing in sections from one side. Add in small pieces along your neckline, and once you're past where the hair is laying against your head, do a couple more strokes of French braid, making sure to add in hair from the nape of your neck until you have all the hair included in the braid from one side. Then braid normally down and expand the braid slightly so it stands out more in the hair. In Serena's original style, it didn't look pulled out, but with darker hair, it's harder to see all the detail, so spreading the braid apart for more volume is a step I like to take. Pull up the braid and begin to pin it in place at the back of your head. Now just repeat the same steps on the other side, again lace braid bringing in small sections of hair from the underside into the braid, finish the braid normally, spread apart the braid slightly and then pin to the back. Once you have the two braids crossed over each other, just circle them around into a bun like shape and keep on pinning. With that front section, I'm going to use a small barrel and make little curls, and then I'm going to place them over to the back of my hair so that they fall over the braided hairstyle. Try to hide the bobby pins as best as you can when you're doing this part, and then when you have a large section still at the front, we're going to curl this whole piece and then create some pretty texture. So I'm just brushing it out, twisting it a little bit, and creating a little side portion going into the hairstyle. I did this for some pretty texture instead of her front bangs because I don't have them. They look great. If you have bangs, you can leave them out and I think it looks really nice. But with me, I'm just curling and pinning back for a pretty unique look. Here is the completed hairstyle without accessories. I think it's really cool and kind of bohemian. And here it is with a bunch of seashells. I just added these seashells I got from Michaels onto clips and then stuck them in my hair and I think it looks really cool and mermaid-like. Next hairstyle is the mermaid side braid. To get Serena's curly texture, I'm using a small wand and wrapping around the bottom section of my hair for some cute curls. I love curling my hair like this because it's pretty quick and easy. I just curl the bottom pieces and then add a couple small curls up top for more volume. And once this is complete, you're going to take a small section from the front like we did last time and divide this into two pieces horizontally. Now we are going to create another small lace French braid. Just like last time, as you braid, you're going to take in a little section from just one side. So this time we're taking a piece of hair from directly behind the braid and we're doing this for about 10 stitches. And once you have a little section that is connected to your head, then just braid down normally. Like before, I'm expanding the braid at the top mostly, but you want to do this very gently and only a little bit because with smaller braids it's easier to get flyaways and a messy look, which I'm not really going for today. So I'm just, you know, very gently loosening up the braid. With the section directly under, again divide into three, and this time we're just braiding normally starting at the top of the ear. I like to have a little non-braided section before this braid because I think it really makes the front braid pop. 
While you twist your hair into a loop, use a high hold hairspray as you go so the braid sticks to itself. If you don't do this without hairspray, it'll be really hard to get all the way to the top of your head without the little circle coming apart. Once you're at the top of the braid, flip upwards and then pin in place. Try to hide the bobby pins as best as you can and there's the first little seashell. Same steps on the top one, swirl into a circle while stopping the hairspray. and pin into the same seashell shape. Optional, but again, I went crazy with the seashells for decoration. I think this one turned out so cute and we still have one more simple hairstyle, so keep on watching and make sure to let me know which hairstyle is your favorite. This last hairstyle is the easiest. I'm calling it the Sea Sweetback. I have second day curls and I'm creating a center part halfway, then I'm just combing my hair backwards so the part doesn't trail off. Section off two pieces surrounding your face. Take two small pieces within and twist them around each other. I'm twisting going backwards away from my face and just add a section from your hairline as you go. This is a lace twist, so it's like what we did with the braids but you only have two pieces and you're twisting around each other. Keep grabbing a small section to add all along the hairline even as you get down to the neck. Loosen up the twist for a pretty ocean wave like detail. Take the two ends of the twist and gather them in a small elastic. Taking that little pony left over, and I did add a little bit of hair under so that the bun would be a bit bigger, twist into a loose little bun and just pin in place. Of course I added some more seashells, and there you have it. I love Serena's sweet character and beautiful voice. If you want me to do another mermaid, let me know. Thanks for watching! I hope you guys enjoyed these three Serena inspired hairstyles for Mako Mermaids. I had so much fun filming this. I love playing with starfish and kind of fancy hairstyles, shells and things. So if you'd like to see more Mako inspired hairstyles, let me know in the comments down below. And there is so much hair inspiration from that show. So if you have a specific episode, definitely send me a screen cap to uh, my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and I will try to do a part two. Also, this Mako Mermaids hat, some of you guys have been asking me about it because I wear it in Snapchats. Um, uh, it's not for sale. It was actually gifted to me from Chai Rom Ruin, who plays Zach when I was over in Australia. But so I'm here with Chai. What are you laughing at? <laughs> yes! What are you laughing at? I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> Chai! <laughs> what? It's pretty. Huh? What'd you say? Nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's such a funny. So I'm yeah. a lucky Canadian girl to have one of these uh, cast and crew hats. Also, if you want to check me out on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, it's all at Jackie Wires. I love to keep you guys posted on what tutorials are coming up next, and I will see you guys in my next video.